What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 draft video. Today we're going to tackle once again the 128 draft challenge. Um, honestly, there, there's been some times, right, before, in fact, before we get into this, if you're new, drop a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel. We're like less than 5k away now from 100,000 subscribers, which would be amazing. So I appreciate you guys a lot for the support. Papa. I take him um yeah there's there's a few times when draft is here Ooh. that i'm like playing for the sake of playing or drafting for the sake of drafting i'm like i've seen again this week probably like 20 one two eights tweeted to me um and i'm, I'm just like i just want to do it i just want to do it so we're gonna try here today <sighs> give me that bruno Fernandes. this is a cracking start uh, four attempts as per usual. We're going to see how close we can get to it. Maybe we get it. Who knows? We got a one two seven the other day, didn't we? Whilst trying for a one two eight, so it's not impossible. And uh, I'm also really, really, really enjoying just playing with the drafts, which is oh, the French and French French league combinations are good. Give me like Renato Sanchez or something. Oh, even better. I saw that Lothar Matthaus, and I thought yes, please. Um, yeah, in the last uh, yesterday's video, of course, we won the draft. We're yet to pack a special card, even though the best of is in packs. And we've won the draft, I think, three times since best of has been in packs. So tomorrow we'll give it another go. And hopefully... Get us, I mean, maybe we'll get one out of today's rewards. Who knows? We'll take Pal Torres there, the Spaniard. This one's a bit of a weird mixed draft, but the chemistry is like, really, really good on this one. Uh, we'll go with Keen. We're going to have to like, kind of commit to Premier... Yeah, Eder Militao. Premier League and La Liga is what we're going to have to commit to. We're going to have to get rid of the left mid. No problems at all. But to start with, Bono in there. This is a 92 rated with, honestly, four very easily replaceable cards. Two quite easily replaceable cards in the striker and the goalkeeper. And... Generally speaking, really nice chem. We will go with Melier in there. It gives us a nice big chemistry upgrade. It actually gets a left mid on full chem. And it means, I guess, French players in general are pretty covered. So if we can get like Loris or Pogba or Martial uh, special cards, that would be very, very nice, you know. Um, well, ooh, damn, man. That was just a centre mid. Tolisso, however, is a very tidy upgrade. The 92 over the 84. Like for like swap. Chemistry is just the same. We don't mind that. And then we've got... Yeah, again, if this was a... Uh, if this was a centre mid, it would have been nice. We will take Sandro Tonali. We can't link Sandro Tonali. Yeah, same with Dybala as well. We're going to need some uh, big pickups here. Okay, Ter Stegen is actually quite nice. Big, big upgrade would require I kind of need a Premier League link to be fair we'll take Ter Stegen for the rating because we've got like we're one Premier League link away from Premier League players gaining one chemistry but because we don't really have the nation links we're in a bit of trouble there we're two La Liga away from the La Liga manager so if we did that the La Liga's one away but then we don't have nation link on Ter Stegen either so we are going to need a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a miracle here to be perfectly honest to, to save the chemistry on this one um and to be fair with four picks to go the rating's not there either um Ochoa's nice Aketa is nice the Brazilian link we'll go over Ochoa over Keen looks like we're going for uh La Liga just means that we need a Liga centre mid or icon and a left wing or icon. And then some big ratings. So 99 Pele would be superb. No, we've got Zaha. Big upgrade for the bench. Over the uh, over the 84. Next up. Damn. What are you going to Sociar? Baggio. We'll pop Baggio in there. Because chemistry doesn't change. But the rating does. Um, in fact, it's probably better if we put... Uh, 
finale in there. We gain one chemistry point with the Ochoa link. Still no bonus uh, benefit on the rating, though. And for the last bit, guys, so it is one of those weird ones, right, where it's not necessarily the highest rated draft. It's only a 92. doesn't have the best chemistry. But other than one centre-back, the draft itself is very, very nice. That Bruno Fernandes, Socrates, Henri, all very good. Zaha on the bench as well, very good. But for our first attempt, that wasn't so good. Let's get into attempt number two. And here we go with attempt number two. Give us a 4-3-2-1 early days. We got it late last time. I really like the 4-3-3 as well, but it is dependent mostly. Take and die there because he's centre mid and high rate on getting Pele and Henri or like Van Persie or Bruno Fernandes, things like that. Like this set of wingers, not ideal. Elise is not bad. French Premier League and a good rating. And I'm going to have to take Sol Campbell over Davidson there as well, which is not the best. 97 Lewandowski. In he goes. We've got two options to take this now as well. We can go down Premier League. We can go down La Liga. We can go down both. I guess we're actually going to have to take a link here. We'll take McAllister. Lots of good Argentines to link him to. And we go Fred. Damn, man. I was, I was out here bigging up the 4 3 3. We've got Javi Galan who links with Lewa. We've got Zinchenko who links with the Prem players. We've got Klosterman who's a massive high rating that we've got to take. Again, chemistry here is not going to be the easiest. We, we could quite easily get like a Premier League set up, but this is just a lot of rating and not a lot else. And, and even with it being a lot of rating, not really that much rating. I'm going to take Balak over Zanetti. I know we've got the Argentine in the team as well, but uh, the left back has a much better chance of staying in the team. Balak obviously gives some good German links, so like a Ter Stegen here or something as well would be quite quite, quite nice. Uh, so, you know, we'll go with Johnson, obviously. And the Premier League setup is coming through nice. Yeah. We'll go with Butland. All right, all right. You know, centre mid, striker, Bundesliga, Germans. Oh, Geraldo Beck is very nice for it. In he goes over him there. What does uh, Klosterman need now? Two Germans or two Bundesliga. So if we can get a German Bundesliga centre midfielder, not necessarily centre back. Centre midfielder would be ideal, like a Kimmich or something. Not that version, obviously. We'll take Zidane. There's Pedri. He gives us a big plus four because of the link with... Uh, Lewandowski. We've got Eder Militao. Lose two on him. We gain one on him. Because now Pedri gains. Lewa gains. Eder Militao gains. We lose a little bit on the left back. Benzema doesn't fit the bill here. Corona could. We lose six chem with him right now. But there's potential we go full La Liga here. And for that we'll take Reynaldo as well. Not going to be the rating again, though, mind you. Here we go, Jean Felix. This draft's just dead, isn't it? This draft's just dead. We get 94 Rabio. Kind of shabby, though. Not going to fit into the team at all. Dead draft is dead, guys, to be fair. Dead draft is dead. Doesn't really matter what I would have done in this one. It was just not giving out. We really, really need a 2 1 formation. Let's go uh, again. Attempt number three. Let's get a better formation, EA, please. Yes, there we go. The 4 3 2 1. Although Pele 98. Oh, this is actually a tough one, isn't it? Uh, th there's probably loads of people in the chat or watching this video now, not in the chat, not in the comment section, that are screaming, Take Socrates, obviously. 95 rated sentiment goes into the team. And then there's an equal number of people going, obviously take Pele. You need 98s to get the 128. Okay, I could get 99 Pele, you know, but then we'd have to sub him out and hopefully get a midfield roll. It is six or one half a dozen the other. A 98 is imperative to the 128. A 95 centre mid icon Brazilian just slots in there nicely. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit with Socrates. And next to him, we're going to put in 92. And next to him, oh, Oh dear. Oh dear. All right. 
94 Verratti, the obvious choice there. 95 Goretzka, the obvious choice there. We've got a little bit of uh, chemistry to build into this team. Good PSG left backs. Good uh, Alde. Good like Barcelona's got a lot of easy links. I don't mind taking him. We've now got to kind of commit though. Oh my days. How has it given me four beast players from four different leagues and four different nations? And none of them linking. Well, actually, now that's nice. I saw Lucio and I was like, okay, that's really good. Mm -mm. Gomez is really good. 96 Van Dyke, 96 Gomez. Give me Trenturians. Di Lorenzo Verratti, yeah. Kunde Balde, a lot better. I'm going to go with that. It's only five ratings different. Maybe Castagne would have been a little bit better as well. That's what I'm talking about. If we can get 97 11 Godski here, we can't. We can either go with Michael Owen, who's very good for Gomez, but I'm not overly fussed. Antoine Griezmann, who's very good for the La Liga guys because it leaves the La Liga manager away from getting Griezmann and Balde on full chemistry. Calm with that. Morata, which also leaves the La Liga manager away from Morata and Jules Kunde. Could take Benz, but we're likely to get the team of the year of him or the team of the season. We're going to go with Griezmann. This is 93 rated. Chemistry is easy changes, right? Centre forward icon easy. Centre midfield. We're going to have to get two centre midfields. One Premier League, one La Liga. Four icons. In Golasso, we'll take Alex Ramiro. Right, defender number one. Molina at right back. No one has special chemistry here, so Molina at right back is the uh, good choice. We gain one chemistry as well because of the Atletico Madrid links and because of the Argentine link to Correa. Defender number two. Take Di Lorenzo this time. Obviously, just a rating. Here's midfielder number one. This is where it gets important. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 94 Jedson. That David Beckham was there, and I was actually a bit disappointed that we couldn't get him in a centre midfield role, but that Jedson is there. We need to... La Liga centre mid. What do we need to do here? English... English Prem manager. Yeah, English Prem manager gets Van Dijk and Gomez on full chem. La Liga centre mid, icon centre forward. Everyone's on full chem. This has this has legs. This has legs. This has legs. Give me a good good here. Yeah, thank you very much. You said you. We gain one chem there. We are going to need a, a link for Molina. Well, we, no, we need the La Liga centre mid. That covers all of it off anyway. It doesn't matter. Take Elsha. 92 rated now. This is another one of those drafts though. It's just a sick draft. Uh, the fact that we've got two footies in this one is quite nice. I'm, I'm expecting three big players here now. Oh, yes. 99, De Bruyne. God damn. Wow, EA. 88 Bernardo Silva. Not a 94. I don't know how this this draft would be cracking to play with. We did not get what we need. But this draft, the only player that's not like overly like, oh wow, is like Griezmann and maybe Burkamp. Two footies in here. A team. This is. Oh my days. A 99 numbers up. This, this would be a beautiful draft to play with. But it's not part of what we're doing. 93 rated. Couldn't unfortunately quite get the chemistry on that one. With 30 out of 33 for the chemistry. It's not a bad effort, to be fair. It's a 1 2 3. It is literally a La Liga centimeter away from full chemistry. And being a one two six, yeah, we wow, for a one two eight, we actually need a ninety five rated draft. This isn't even close. 
Still a mad draft though, isn't it? Let's get into the last one. The final attempt for today, guys. We are going to get the 3-4-2-1 this time. This is a good formation as well. We are starting off. Going to have to take 89 Verratti in that centre midfield role. Let's get the right mid, left mid first. And see what we're working with. I'm going to go English Prem. And French League One. Ah, what a terrible start. Save me, EA. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now team of the year, Benz. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And now, like, 97 Modric. Does he have a 97 rated card? I can't remember. Wow, four Premier League players in here. We'll take Joao Cancelo, actually, because obviously lots of good Man City links and no left back in this team, so his better version... Can't fit into the squad anyway. Oh, it's Gomez pink footies again. We don't mind that. Romero goes in there. I'm going to take Thiago Silva over Varane because Varane's got a much better card. Obviously, the level up cards uh, are available. And now I kind of know already what striker I need to go for as well because we are going for a Premier League setup here. The chemistry is going to be golden. Um, <laughs> Harry Maguire... The chemistry is golden. We need a Premier League centre mid, an icon or hero centre forward, and a Premier League left mid, and then just some upgrades. This, this, I mean, for this to get to 95 rated, yeah, we need some monster cards. The question we have here is, is a 96 Courtois for the bench better than an 89 Allison? And the reason why it is, is just for the simple fact that because we have Benz, we are only two more Real Madrid players away from full Real Madrid chemistry. And so if we can hit like a uh, Eder Militao team of the season or something, we're going to be cooking, right? Got a Hernandez team of the season there. Thinking Brozovic is not here. Kovacic has got to be the guy in there as well. That is sad. Ooh, damn. We're going to have to turn down Ronaldo and Eto. Ronaldo because Maguire's 95 rated anyway and, and fits in for Kem. Eto because he doesn't fit. Just be a right mid, man, and you're in there. Eric Cantona is going to have to be the guy over uh, over Benz. So it's just that left mid and then rating. I mean, for us to get rating here, we would need some monster cards. I don't mean 94s. I mean... 98s, 99s, 97s. Like, it has to be monster cards and a left mid. And it's one of those drafts, guys, you can see it already, where the bench is just super cracked, hard to improve. The starting lineup, that's where the issue is. Edison can go in there, gets Pope out of the team. It's a little team upgrade. It's it's seemingly even challenging, guys, at the moment to get a 127 or a 126. Did we get a 126 today? We've got one 126 today. This draft, again, would actually be a fun one. Um, if we played Hernandez in defense and just applied the uh, chemistry, schmemistry rule, um, only really Kovacic is the player that I don't really care about. I'd put Verratti. Nah, I'd put Burkamp in there. In there. That would be quite a fun draft to play with. But that's not the aim for today, guys. That is going to be the end of the challenge for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.